Just saying. I think. I mean, I can't dance. Dan. But. <laughs> but. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. Incredible. Awesome. How we doing, Blue Squad? Woo! Blue Squad, how we doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Red Squad, how we doing? And I wore blue. Tonight. I think I think it's 100. You know, no, it yeah, I got teal on. Yeah, that's not blue. <laughs> Shade of blue. No, what? Shade of blue. Oh no, the oh, notes no. are blue. How did that sound? Let's pray. God, we thank you for this time. God, I thank you, God, for your word. It's life to us and help to all our flesh. God, we thank you for this day. God, I thank you, God, that when anybody here that has a need that, God, you've already met it. And God, I thank you for whatever it is that they will receive it through your word that you've given us the promises of yes and amen. Through faith and patience, we receive the promises, God, and we thank you that we have faith and patience. God, we thank you for this message tonight. You speak through Jane and I. And I thank you, God, that you are glorified, for we worship you, the living God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Awesome. awesome. Hey, um, how many of you guys, you know, something that you got to know about me is um, this week, I, um, I love, this is going to be really weird for you guys, but I love supplements. I love protein drinks. I love, like if you had like the best dessert next to my protein drinks, or I'm taking my... It's seriously true. Protein. Like he gets jacked about like GNC. I'm like, I mean, no, okay. not GNC. That's weak sauce. That's weak. Not GNC. I want the best of the best. I go for the best supplements, but what you gotta understand is I've been taking supplements for a long time, like just the protein stuff and all that as a young kid. So I love it. So anyway, I got a call this week from one of our neighbors and her son plays hockey. And she just, um, it was actually a message. She said, hey Butch, we've got some new products. If you have an opportunity, come by and see me. I've got some um, extra products I'd love to give you. So I went over and um, her name is Sandy Lincoln. Oh, Sandy is phenomenal. We love you, Sandy. We love We're going to send you this tape. Yep. And her son, Hunter, is a hockey guy with Moses and Laz. So, um, and her husband, Todd, is a wonderful man. And we just love her family. And so I went over there, and they just had all these supplements. And just, you know, she just shared the knowledge of them, but also gave me samples. And just, you know, the stuff was expensive, and she just was so generous to give and she had no problem just handing out some some um well this is her business it is too, it's her business you know and she but, could have sold them or right, whatever but yeah. yeah she was just generous and just wanted to bless generous. our family and so anyway you know i was just so excited i'm like a kid in the candy store and i come <laughs> home and i'm like i'm ripping this stuff open right now and i'm diving in and so I'm all supplemented up today, so if I'm a little crazy, I'm all proteined up. So, <laughs> so Sandy is just one of those people that is very upbeat and just a giver. And I wanted to thank them, but more importantly, just share her heart. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 18, 16, a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men or kings. Your gift will make a place for you. That is in your notes. Your gift will make a place for you. A thousand points for your uh, handing in your notes too, for your team's handing in notes. Um, listen, when God's talking about making a place for you, what is he saying there? He's not talking about spiritual gifts. He's talking about like giving a gift, like being a generous person. Going and giving something to someone. Have you ever noticed that if someone is giving you something, you have a little special 
place in your heart for him? You know why? That's God's design. God loves it when we give to other people. He just loves it. So, just like Sandy gave to me, you know, and Jane and our kiddos, you know, their family has a special place for us just by just giving. Just give us some supplements. I mean, you know, it's so incredible that you can give. Think about it. If you're a, um, I know that um, uh, some people would take cookies to their teacher, right? Remember little kids and taking chips? Not Jane's sister loved to do that. Jane's sister, Jeannie, would always have cookies for the kids, right? Yeah. Or for the teacher. She's an amazing baker. <laughs> amazing baker. <laughs> Dive into those cookies and teacher's going to love your kids. Yeah. Yeah. But it really does. It's God's word. And God's the same yesterday, today, and what? Forever. His word's the same. So it makes a place for you. And I really wanted you to get that in your heart. You know, as we go out tonight, if, if any of you, I wanted to also uh, remind you tonight, if you want to go with us to Old Chicago, we're going to go there again tonight. And they have pizzas and some, it's just great fun. But remember, when you go to somewhere like that, you know, we're a generous church. We're generous people. Let's not be Christians that don't give a tip or whatever. I mean, that's just, it's just not representing Jesus the right way. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, we should be the biggest givers, yeah. right? the biggest givers. Yeah. And people are like, you know, don't go out to dinner and give somebody a trap. Mm -hmm. Like they're working their fanny off and you're going to give them a trap. <laughs> give them money. That'll, that'll, <laughs> trust me. That'll open their hearts up. You can give money with a track. There you go. That Perfect. is powerful. You know, I love that verse, too, because I, I also think, you know, there are, you know, physical gifts like you were talking about, you know, like the cookies or the supplements or whatever. But then I also think, you know, when I read that verse, one of the first people that came to mind was Sarah Bartlow. You know, I mean, she has so many giftings. And, you know, she stepped up when we started leading the youth and offered to do media shout and offered to do service coordinator. And then it's like every week she's done something else for us that, you know, wasn't asked of her, you know, made these nice little cards to keep track of the tribal wars scores or whatever. And, you know, that I have a huge place in my heart for her and, you know, for Andy and Dan and all of Seth and Chad and all of our awesome leaders in here that are using their giftings to go above and beyond to make the edge awesome for all of you guys and to make a huge impact in your lives. So, you know, those are some giftings that we can use too. And those gifts make a place for you as well. You know, makes a place in somebody's heart for you. That's right. And before I, before we go on, let's pray for Hunter real quick. I want to, let's, let's be in agreement here. God, we thank you for, for uh, Hunter Lincoln. That God, you bless his hockey this year as he goes to Des Moines, Iowa. Protect him, be with him. I thank you, God, he has a great hockey season, and he has a great time, and that, God, you bless him and his family, yes, and that they're blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I agree Amen. in Jesus' name. All right. So the second thing, point number two, this is in your notes that we wanted to talk to you guys about. Attitude is everything. You know, I really believe after accepting Jesus, obviously first and foremost, Having a great attitude is one of the best things you can do to put yourself in a position to succeed. You guys know what it's like when you're around somebody that has an awesome attitude and you just, you just want to be around them and they just make you feel better and they lift the room. You know, you can really put yourself in a position for a job or promotion or, you know, a great relationship when you just have an awesome attitude. And, you know, I was thinking... You know, some days, I don't know about you guys, but some days you just don't feel like having a good attitude. Does anybody in here ever have a day where you feel like not having a good attitude? Yeah. So some, like, weeks you feel like not having a good attitude. That's been my week, you know. I just have not felt like having a good attitude a few days this week, you know. And, you know, I love that Tess and Taisha came to us and just asked for prayer for their family because, you know, that's what we're here for, guys. If you're having one of those weeks or months or, you know, where you're struggling with having a good attitude, that's what we're here for. You know, we're here to pray for you guys. We're here to speak the word into your life. But I love this. I found this in 1 Samuel 36 today when I was really struggling with having a good attitude. And it's a story of David. You guys know the story of King David? He's just an amazing warrior for Jesus. Um, 
So 1 Samuel 36, it's talking about David was leading an army. And the enemy's army had come in while David and his army was gone, and they raided their whole army camp. So they took their wives as prisoners, they took their kids as prisoners, they took their stuff, they stole from them. So David and his guys come back, and their families are gone, and all their stuff's gone. And now all of a sudden, David's army that he'd been counting on, they're ticked at him. They're like, dude, you led us into this battle. We come home, and our families have been kidnapped, our stuff's gone. And they're all furious with him, and understandably so. And David, of course, was distraught. And the Bible says this, David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. You know, I love that because he was really going through a hard time. I'm sure he was probably not having a good attitude at that moment. But the Bible says that he strengthened himself in the Lord. You know, and this is a verse that I say every morning. And sometimes I have to say it because I don't feel like it. <laughs> and it's Psalm 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And sometimes you have to will yourself into that will. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I will make myself rejoice and be glad in it. Even if I have to make myself, I will rejoice. You know, and this is what's cool about the rest of that story for David. After he strengthened himself in the Lord, he prayed and asked God if he should chase that army that raided his camp. He went to God, he strengthened himself in the Lord, he got in prayer, he sought God, and then he said, God, should I go after him? And I love this. God's answer is awesome. This is the God we serve, you guys. Okay? 1 Samuel 38, two verses later. And the Lord told David, yes, go after them. You will surely recover everything that was taken from you. When David sought God for strength, God gave David his perspective. All of a sudden now, David sought God and he's seeing things now from God's perspective because God already knows, hey, David, when you and your buddies go after them, you're getting everything back and then some. So when David forced himself, even in that hard time, to pray to God and to seek God and to put God first in that tough situation, God showed him that he already had the victory. So we win, we overcome. David recovered everything that was lost. You know, today... I had to strengthen myself in the Lord. You know, honestly, today was one of those days. I don't know if it found, like sounds silly to you guys, but, you know, we don't always want to do the right things either. And today, you know, I was sad for my mom passing away, and I really just wanted to, like, hang out in my jammies with, like, some chips and queso and maybe some chocolate to go with it and, like, watch Hallmark movies, you know? Um... And I told Butch, I'm like, I don't think I can speak tonight. Like, I, I don't even know if I can go to church. And so he was so sweet. And this is just a side note, guys. But, like, choose well, honestly. <laughs> like, I mean, after choosing Jesus, this guy was the greatest choice I've ever made. I mean, you know, it's one thing to have somebody awesome when you're going through good times and it's fun to celebrate with. But even more so, you know, these past few days... I mean, he has just been my rock and prayed for me and prayed for our family. So just choose well. You know, I don't care how cute that boy is. If he's not a Jesus lover, he's not going to be cute for very long. I mean, honestly, right? Am I right? Seriously. Like, I don't care how hot that girl is. You know, you don't want her so hot she's leading you to hell. I mean, honestly. But seriously, you know, if they don't love Jesus, like, who cares? You know, the Bible says that all of this, you know, the shell, it's going to fade, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pass away. But, you know, that heart, your soul, like who you are on the inside, that's eternal. So that was just a little side note. That's a great side note. <laughs> that's a great note. And you're Ooh. hot too, babe. Oh, so think. there you go. It's, hey. double, it's a double one. Hey. <laughs> um, okay, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but seriously, so, okay, that's where I was at. All right, so I told Butch, you know, I said, I don't think I can speak tonight. Like, honestly, I don't even feel like going to church, but we're leading the youth, so I know I got to go. So I'm getting ready. I'm, like, putting on my makeup, and I was just like, okay, I got to strengthen myself in the Lord. And I didn't even really feel like praying, so I just started praying in the Spirit. 
And if you guys don't know, you know what that is, praying in the spirit, speaking in tongues, that's something we're going to cover in a few weeks. But I just started praying to God. And all of a sudden I was like, you know what? Not only can I speak tonight, but I feel like God's put a word on my heart that I need to share with the youth. And now I'm pumped. Like, I'm ready to get there, ready to, you know, get fired up. Let's get there early. Let's get the room prepared. So I'm not just telling you guys a cool Bible story that we're not living out. Like, it's the truth, okay? You know, we all have those challenges that come at us, but we can strengthen ourselves in the Lord. And then God gives us his vision for what we're going through. And it's always victory. Can I tell you guys that? When you see God's vision for whatever your circumstance is, you girls with what's going on with your family, guess what? God's vision and what he knows is the truth is victory. It's overcoming. It's we win. We win. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is alive in us. We win. So when you strengthen yourself in the Lord, get in God's word, pray, ask God, God help me through this. Just be honest with him. You know, you don't have to pray a perfect prayer that sounds like all fluffy and these and thous and, oh, Lord, most high. You know, just talk to him like you would your best friend because that's who he is. Okay? So just get with God, get in his word, talk to him, and let him show you his vision for your circumstance. Awesome. Great words in here. Thanks, I know. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, we're finished up here. And uh, I just want you to understand that we go from there to, you know, training your brain. What do I mean by train your brain? Train your thought life. The word says in Philippians 4, 8, whatever things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of a good report, praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So this week I was, um, you know, you guys know that all day long I'm on the ice skating, right? That's what I do train hockey players and from the little guys all the way to the pros and um, my ice skates are really like um, really important to me and I like them exactly the way I like them because it's what I do every day I skate on the ice and I have them at a perfect sharpening cut that I like and I always look at my skates and this week I got my skates on took a look and they're cracked in the middle. The blade, the metal part was cracked. So, and I'm like getting ready to do my job, right? Mm -hmm. Teaching hockey. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Like I've got my skates on, I'm ready to go. So what I want you to understand is I've got a rule. And this rule is that you get three seconds. And those three seconds, then you turn it, turn, turn the page. So I gave myself, you know, three seconds, boom. Now, you know what? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna go out there, I'm gonna have a great attitude, I'm gonna have a great skate, I'm gonna have a great day. I knew my blade was broke, but it didn't matter. I was gonna choose to have a great day and a great attitude. And what Jane was saying, you know, attitude's a key. Attitude's everything. You know, are you going to be down in the mouth? Something hits you funny. Your computer goes down. Something happens at work. Something happens at, at school. You guys aren't in school now, but something happens with a friend. Give yourself three seconds and move forward and get your brain training to think on what's true and noble and just and pure and lovely. Good report. Praise her. Meditate on these things. What does TV teach you guys? Oh, think about the drama. Drama for your mom. Think about the bad things. Think about, and then you just keep going over in your brain. And we, has anybody ever done this? And you start thinking, and you start going down and down and down and down. No, you give yourself three seconds. You move forward. You think on the truth, on, on God's word, and go forward. And that will help you navigate a lot of junk that you have throughout the day. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. All right. With that, let's just, um, let's close in prayer. And we want to pray tonight. Um, I just feel that, um, you know, the enemy is a gravy sucking liar. And I want to declare that, um, you know, suicide can't have us. 
Fear can't have us. Drugs and alcohol can't have us. All the traps of the enemy can't have us. Because we navigate them. Right? We, we navigate around the traps and snares of the enemy. We walk right around the traps. And we laugh at the enemy. Because we have eyes of understanding. We have eyes of the Lord that he's shown us. So I thank you, God. Everybody's heads down and close your eyes. Thank you, God. Is there anybody here that hasn't given their life to Jesus? That you know you're, we are separated from God, but we have a bridge, and that bridge is Jesus. And that access, that bridge will give us access to the Father. Anybody that's never given their life to Jesus, it's a new day, it's a great day. Thank you. Anybody want just a fresh start? It says, you know what? Bush, Jane. It's like a fresh start. You know what's great about our God? He is a merciful God. This God that we live for, he's not some, some old guy with a baseball bat waiting to hit you over the head when you make a mistake. He's the opposite. He's a loving God that has his hands wide open, his arms wide open, ready to hug you. And say, you know what? My mercies are new every morning. You're free. You're my child. Anybody here that has just been overwhelmed with fear? You know, the world's coming at you and you've, you've just been hit with some fear. The enemy loves, that's one of, his, one of his tools, is that he uses fear to attack us. And that fear will grip you if you allow it to. You can't allow the enemy to step in with fear. And I'm saying you got to have zero fear. I mean, no fear at all. Because if he gets a little door of fear, that enemy will come in and get more, put more fear and more fear and more fear in you. Anybody that would like to pray for fear? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody here is dealing with been there before. Remember when I was 17 years old and some of your ages and left home and was living with a whole new family and had a bunch of loneliness, didn't have any friends there, and no, didn't have any family members. And you know, you're lonely. If you're lonely, God can help you right now today. Because let me help you. And that's another lie of the enemy. As Christians, we're not lonely because we've always got God with us. No matter where you are at work, at school, performing athletically, performing musically, whatever you're doing, Jesus is where, there with you. You're not lonely.
I will not receive any fear. I will not receive any fear. I know it's a lie from the enemy. I know it's a lie from the enemy. The enemy is a liar. The enemy is a liar. And I'm a child of the king. And I'm a child of the king. I choose to be fearless. I choose to be fearless. Your word says. Your word says. Everywhere I step, I possess the land. Everywhere I step, I possess the land. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be afraid. I've got you, Jesus. I've got you, Jesus. I'm strong in the Lord and the power of your might. I'm strong in the Lord and the power of your might. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. In your image. In your image. I'm the head and I'm not the tail. I'm the head and I'm not the tail. I'm the victory. I'm the victory. I never lose. I never lose. I will not fear. I will not fear. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? I wish we could do that song right now. <laughs> Whom shall I fear? Nobody. Nothing. I want to pray for loneliness. Sing this with me. God. God. I am not lonely. I'm not lonely. Because you're with me. Because you're with me. You're my God. You're my God. I don't go by how I feel. I don't go by how I feel. I go by your word. I go by your word. And your word says that you're with me. And your word says that you're with me. And you will never leave me. And you will never leave me. Nor forsake me. Nor forsake me. I thank you. And I thank you. For new Christian friends. For new Christian friends. To come into my life. To come into my life. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. I want friends. I want friends. That I can trust. That I can trust. That'll love me. That will love me. And I'll love them. And I'll love them. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody said? Amen. 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 Awesome. What a powerful day today. And I know that God breaks up the yoke of bondage. And it's a fun time when you've got that freedom. You know, with the Spirit of the Lord, there's freedom. hates it. He hates our country. He hates you as Christians being free. You wake up tomorrow morning and go to work and you're just free. And you're walking to work and you're going to see people that are just in bondage. They're down in the mouth. You're not like that. You're smiling and you're happy. 